as we're working with this new 360 technology where we're putting water right beside the base of the plant on each side and really creating the perfect root growing zone and we're always adding in nitrogen and sulfur and trying many other different concepts. We decided that we needed to branch out and do different fields in different locations. So one of the machines that we designed is a mobile unit. Yes, it's got the 60 foot booms and takes 24 rows, but it's only, it's got a little bit shorter hose, so it's a little bit shorter when it goes down the road. In fact, it measures about 14 feet on height. But we can pull, pull it along at about 18 mile an hour, and we got four different locations that we're going to. As we pull into the field, we're coming into the field and we're putting in two different trials. Every week we come in and we put on a quarter of an inch for 24 rows. We skip, we skip 60 feet and we put on a half inch. And so it's designed that in 800 feet, it takes exactly 7,000 gallon of water to be a quarter of an inch. And so we have a semi trailer that brings the water we're hooking our line right into the semi-trailer with a high pressure pump and we're putting on about 210 gallon to, uh, per minute onto this plot. So 7,000 gallon takes us out 800 feet at a quarter of an inch. Semi immediately heads back to the water source which is an irrigation well over by the dairy and the machine back leg scoots over, skips 60 feet and now we take two semi loads to put on a half inch per week. Of course, on each side of us, we're going to have the standard town line farm system. Where we're at right here, this particular field is planted all the same population. Corn was dropped in here at 32,750, and so it's a hybrid that's for a little bit lighter soil. This particular field that we picked is some lighter soils. We made sure we had two heavy CEC fields of good silt loam, high yielding fields, and then we picked two fields that are show a little bit more stress. This is one of the stress fields, but it's had a half inch every week here on this particular corn. So as I come in here and I look at a thousandth of an acre, I'm kind of excited. We got 31,000 plants out of the 32,000 drop. As we look at the bottom of this plant and we see leaves that are this green right to the very bottom. The very bottom leaf yet is green. And so as we come up this stalk, and we look at the stalk that we're creating, you can see that by putting on a half inch a week in here of just a 10 inch band has created some pretty positive things. As I pull back these ears and we count them, I'm excited that we have an average of 16 around. So it just means that out of the gate, we had some pretty good at knee high corn and that's when we started watering. We had some pretty good days in a row. So as we move over here to the dry land same population, there's about 10 inches different in height of the plant. And that came from as we're watering with the 360 technology earlier in the season, we're getting some pretty good growth. And so you can pick it up right away on the ear height itself. At the same time, we have less ears here. We had a few barren plants in this. We had three plants that were totally barren that were behind. You can always tell those plants that are behind when you look at stalk diameter. So as I compare these two plants down here at the bottom, I can pick up with my eye immediately. This plant emerged earlier. This is a later emerger. Immediately he's smaller. And at this time he's struggling to shoot an ear. He'll probably shoot one. It'll be a small ear and it'll definitely be behind. But if we look at the bottom of the plants, we can see that there's quite a bit of difference in plant health. These leaves have basically have dampened off due to the fact there's just more stress. I've gone ahead and dug one here. Let's just see what he looks like. You know, when we think about a root system and we think about the third crown root, so this right here, the one I'm pulling out here, this is a number three crown root that's right here, this massive root that's going down in the profile. These guys go as deep as corn is tall. So it's working hard at picking up nutrients and water but when we bring the technology by that we're exposing you to today, you can see this plant's going to have a much easier time at the buffet table back five rows over where we're watering. And so we're looking forward to seeing what kind of response in plant health, in ear set, ear size, and most of all, what depth of kernel can we get 
if we go into the ear fill and we eliminate some of the stress.